Hello everyone, this is Eve and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very delicious broccoli, cheese, and rice casserole. It's one of my favorite dishes and it's really good for the holidays. It's a really good dish for a party or a potluck. And today I'm making it for a painting party that I'm going to. So please watch and learn how to make my broccoli, rice, and cheese casserole. So here are the ingredients you'll need. You need at least three to four crowns of broccoli, uh, depending on the size of your broccoli crowns. You'll need a mixture of cheeses. So I have a sharp cheddar, a Colby Jack, and also you'll need actually some sliced cheese as well. I have 10 pieces of sliced cheese. You'll need at least uh, four containers. These are large containers of cooked rice. You can also just cook the rice on the side yourself if you'd like. And then your spices, you will need some garlic salt, a mixture of spices again, and uh, just some basil. And then you'll need your cream of mushroom, Campbell's soup. I have three cans. You'll need some olive oil and then also some butter. And any kind of butter will do. Alright, so these are the things you'll need. And I'm going to show you how to make it. Okay. Here are the pans that you will need to make your broccoli, rice, and cheese casserole. You're going to need a baking pan. I have a very small one today. And if you want a larger casserole, then you'll have to get a larger pan. So this is for a small casserole. And you'll have to double the recipe if you want to make a larger casserole. Okay? And you'll also need a large wok. I have a medium-sized one today because, again, I'm making a small portion. But if you want to make a larger portion, you're going to need a really huge wok like this one because we're going to put all of the rice and broccoli and all of the ingredients in this huge pot before we put it into the baking dish to bake. Okay, so uh, you're going to cook your broccoli crowns first. You need to add your olive oil. So you're just going to coat the broccoli with olive oil. Turn your heat up to high heat to begin with, and I simply just cut the broccoli crowns into the pan. It's just much easier. You can do it separately on a cutting board if you'd like. This is how I do mine. Just cut off the tops and uh, make sure you have enough broccoli covering the pan. Okay. Next, you're going to add some water. Not that much. Just enough to steam the broccoli. It's about a half a cup. And then you're going to add your butter to the broccoli. And we'll do about two large scoops of butter. Okay. You add your seasoning so you have your mixed seasoning just sprinkle that on top and you have your basil sprinkle just a little bit and finally your garlic salt and you're going to be pretty generous on the garlic salt about three times around all right and then you let that cook. You're going to stir it around. Let the broccoli cook. Almost completely, not too much. But you don't want it to be firm. You want it to be cooked all the way through. And you can always add more water if you need to. Don't let your pan dry out and burn the broccoli. So add more water if needed. All right, while your broccoli is cooking, you're gonna go ahead and add your cream of mushroom soup to a hot pan or pot. Okay, you cook this separately from the broccoli first. adding 
some water. I just usually add it to the can and put it in there. Yeah. And again, this is on high heat. Okay, so you stir it together, the water and the condensed soup, and let that cook. I'm going to add one more can in just a moment. And make sure you keep stirring your broccoli. The broccoli is still hard, so it needs probably at least five to ten more minutes to cook. You don't want to have hard broccoli in your casserole. It should be cooked. Okay, let's add the last can. Of soup. And this is what you're going to use to completely wet your rice. So you need quite a bit. This is what holds the broccoli and the rice and the cheese, everything together. This is like your glue, basically. Alright, so you mix that in a little bit more. And let it cook. Now you're going to turn your heat down to medium. Alright. That keep cooking. And it's going to bubble, actually. Yeah, so turn it down to low. And. cover it and let it continue to cook. All right. Broccoli is almost done. I'm going to cut some of these larger pieces down to smaller pieces because you don't want to have huge broccoli chunks. I want them to be a little bit smaller. Continue to cook all the way through, and your cream of mushroom soup will also continue to cook. I'm going to turn this back down, back up, excuse me, to medium heat. Next, we're going to add the slices of cheese to the cream. Okay. And you simply stir the cheese into the cream sauce. And eventually this will be a cheesy cream of mushroom soup.
So this will actually change colors. And instead of it just being a mushroom color, it's going to turn into a cheesy color. We need to add more cheese. Our broccoli is almost finished. Okay, let's go ahead and turn off the broccoli. Our broccoli is finished. You can see that it is now cooked. You have a little bit of liquid left on the bottom, which is fine. We're going to add the rice and the liquid to this big, huge wok in just a moment. I use the already cooked rice, so I'm going to go ahead and heat up the rice in the microwave. You can see now that the liquid is a cheesy, cheesy color, and that's what you want. You want it to be more of an orange color instead of just a gray color. And you keep stirring until the cheese is completely melted. you always taste everything to make sure it's the right taste. Uh, sometimes I add salt because when you add the rice you need to add more seasoning uh, because the rice is very plain. So let's see how salty this is. Mm -hmm. It needs more salt and I'm gonna taste my broccoli. It also needs more salt. So I'm going to add more garlic salt to both. All right, this is almost perfectly ready. So we're going to go ahead and 
last piece of cheese in. I actually used all 10 slices. That's the last piece. should look like. Okay. While your rice is cooking, you can go ahead and slice your cheese. You could also already buy shredded cheese. But actually it's very difficult to find in Korea. So I have to do my own shredding to make the cheddar cheese. So this takes a while. So you keep shredding and you're going to shred your Colby and also your cheddar cheese. And this is going to go mixed into the casserole and also on top as a topping. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put all of the ingredients together. So you have your cooked rice. I'm going to dump that into the broccoli. And you have your cheese sauce. You're also going to dump. We're just going to do a little bit. And your shredded cheese. You're also going to dump. Okay. Mix everything together. And as you can see, the final result is a delicious, cheesy rice and broccoli mixture. This is how your final mixture should look. We're going to add more rice and cheese, but this is how it should look in the end. Alright, so then you add your shredded cheese to your broccoli, rice, and cheese casserole mixture. Just some of it. You are going to leave the rest for the top, for the topping. Okay, so then we're going to mix that in. So we have not only the sliced cheese, but also some fresh cheddar cheese as well. And you just let that mix it like so. Okay. All right, then your casserole is done, your casserole base. So we're going to go ahead and add this to the baking dish. But as always, make sure you taste your food. Make sure there's enough salt. If you need more salt or cheese or whatever else you want, just go ahead and add it. 
before you put it in the pan. Okay, finally for your last step, you put your broccoli, rice, and cheese casserole into the pan, into your baking pan. You're going to bake this at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. Go ahead and put everything in there. You can see it's not watery at all, it's not liquidy. So you can just kind of mush it around. So then just mush it into the corners. And you're going to flatten it. Until everything is perfectly flat. And then the final step is to add your cheese to the top. We're actually going to add some basil as well to the top. This is your basil. And then your cheese. This is a mixture of the cheddar, sharp cheddar, and Colby Jack. This is very cheesy. And you can also just mush it, mush it down. And the final, just put more basil on top. That's it. Finished. And then you put your whole baking dish in the oven, no cover, just like this, for 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how you like your cheese. If you like your cheese very well done, then leave it in longer, 20 minutes. If you want your cheese just melted, then leave it in the oven for just 10 to 15 minutes. That's it. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, please join me on my next video. I'll be showing you how to make a delicious honey glazed salmon.